Okay. Now let us sit comfortably. You can sit in the chair with the soles soles on the ground, palms open to the ceiling, and take few deep breaths. Find a rest. Take few deep breaths. Make the inhalation deeper and the exhalation longer. Take one more deep breath in and breathe out slowly and completely. One more long deep breath in. Breathe out slowly and completely. Now let us tell a small prayer to get benefited from the practice we are doing today. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahabiryam Karavapahai Tejasvinabhadi Tamastumavit Vishabhai Om Shanti Shanti Slowly rub your palms, put it on your eyes and face. And looking through the gaps of the fingers, open your eyes with a beautiful smile. So this is a prayer in Sanskrit. It means that we are doing things together. We are learning things from each other. Yeah, that is what it means. So now let us start with pranayama. So today I will teach you one pranayama called as alternate nostril pranayama or it is also called as nadi shodhana in Sanskrit. Okay. So what does alternate nostril breathing means? You will be inhaling through one nostril and exhaling through the other nostril. Okay. Then inhale from the other nostril, exhale through the left. So we need to keep our hand positions in a such a way. Okay, left hand you can keep over your thighs, palms open to the ceiling. Right hand, first two fingers should be closed. First two fingers close. Then close your right nostril with the thumb and use the, use the ring finger to close the left nostril. That's it. Okay, you'll be using only this hand. You'll be closing, while clo for closing the right nostril, you'll be using the thumb. And for closing the left nostril, you'll be using the ring finger. The first two fingers will be closed. Okay? So now I'll show you how to do that. Kale, you can continue Nadi Shodhana with uh, breath retention also. Yeah? So now you close your right nostril with the thumb and inhale from the left nostril. Then close the left nostril, breathe out from the right nostril. Now again, inhale from the right, close the right nostril, exhale from the left. This is one cycle. So what you're doing, you're inhaling from the left, exhaling from the right, then inhaling from the right, exhaling from the left okay now we will do with the counts we will do inhalation for a count of six exhalation for a count of eight we need to always do the exhalation little bit longer so that we are ensuring that we are completely breathing out all the carbon dioxide so that we will be able to inhale fresh oxygen now today we will start with six eight that can be made longer with our practice our ability okay so we will do we will do nine rounds six inhale eight exhale yeah 
Yes? Yes. So close your right nostril with the thumb. Inhale from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close, exhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close, exhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close, exhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close, exhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close, exhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. Exhale. Left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. Exhale. Right. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. Exhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close, exhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close, exhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Close, exhale left. Exhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Inhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. Exhale left. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Inhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. Exhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. Exhale left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And relax. Relax. This pranayama, it is very good for everyone. Anyone can do. Anyone, even heart patients can do. If, uh, if doctor does not object, 
anyone can do this pranayama it is very good pranayama it actually helps to activate the certain channels in our brain so one nostril is connected to the right side left nostril is connected to the right side and the right nostril is connected to the left so what we are doing ineffectively we are activating the channels of our brain by controlling this uh, controlling our breath so this pranayama can be practiced by sitting with our spine here like yesterday's pranayama ujjayi which i forgot to tell you you can practice it even while lying down ujjayi pranayama with the throat uh, contracting our epiglottis that we can practice even when we are lying down but nadi shodhana and all other pranayamas we need to sit with our spine erect and do because sitting with our spine erect helps the respiratory system to function better that's it if you are curving and then breathing you will not be able to breathe in that much deep so that is why we always sit with our spine erect okay yeah so the next now now we will start with our uh, spinal stretches today we will start with our spinal stretches so we will stand first we will stand on the mat or wherever so now first what we are going to do leg position leg position 90 degrees this way okay to start with you keep your leg positions 90 degrees one leg and the other leg 90 degrees so what right leg and left leg having 90 degrees yeah now what you are going to do you are going to raise your hand up raise your hand up leg position you keep comfortably no issues then take your raise your hand up and raise the front leg heel up raising the heel up i am healing i am raising my heel up and twisting and stretching my hands above you can stretch your hands above or you can bend your elbow and then come back to center okay so inhale i'm having stretching heels up and exhale coming down inhale heels up only one heel up front leg heel up come down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down i am also twisting my spine i am also twisting my spine i am doing three things here i am twisting my spine i am stretching my spine and inhaling these three things should be done okay so raise your hands up inhale twist your spine and stretch come back inhale only one leg one leg heel heel up okay and come back yeah okay not bending not bending the knees i am just bend coming heel up heel only the heel is up from the leg like this i'm bringing that's it to ensure to make the twisting easier that's it not taking the leg up only the heel up yes twist and come back twist and come back that's it yes that's it yes when you are twisting you are raising the heel up to give to enable the twist that's it yes inhale then come back if it is okay if it is not possible you can just keep yes come back so just inhale come back inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now turn your leg turn your leg to the other side turn your leg to the right now here we will do inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
okay then come back to center now raise your shoulders and relax your shoulders relax your shoulders relax your shoulders up and down shoulders up and down shoulder up and down shoulder up and down now swing your hands left to right just to relax our body swing your hands left to right swing your hand left to right swing swing left to right okay yes now next yes now raise your hands up interlace either your elbows or your either your bring your elbows together or interlacing your fingers stretch your spine up and come on your toes on your toes stretch up and breathe out bring your hands on the head breathe in on your toes up breathe out down breathe in on your toes up breathe out down breathe in up breathe out down and slowly relax your hands slowly relax your hands now take gap between little gap between the legs little gap between the legs stretch your hands above interlace your fingers breathe in up breathe out to the right breathe in center breathe out to the left breathe in center breathe out right breathe in center breathe out left breathe in center breathe out right breathe in center breathe out left breathe in center breathe out right breathe in center breathe out left and slowly come back to center now we will stretch our legs little far little far away we will stretch our legs little far away now keep your right hand on the right hip okay now raise your left hand up you are going to stretch push push your hip and stretch push your hip and come back push your hip come back push your hip come back push your hip come back now the other side raise the hand up push come back push your hip come back push your hip come back push your hip come back come back now take it reduce the gap between the legs reduce the gap between the legs now you are going to stretch your hands forward stretch your hands forward and you are going to twist while doing the twist you are going to keep your right hand over the left shoulder and left hand bring it behind the back and twist and look back twist and look back then come back to center left hand over the right shoulder right hand behind the back and twist and look back so breathe in center stretch your hands breathe out twist and look back breathe in center breathe out twist to the other side breathe in center breathe out twist 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 and come back to center come back to center now relax and sit on the chair we will do some leg stretches we will do the leg stretches okay if comfortable if yeah if comfortable you can stretch your leg this much if not comfortable you can bend and fold like this okay either way is fine if you are stretching it it is good if suppose you are not able to stretch like this you can keep a chair in front of your you can keep another chair like this in front i will show you see you can keep another chair in the front so that this portion is stretched lower portion should be stretched a little yeah 
If you are able to stretch it a little more, of course it is okay. More stretching, it is okay. Okay? You can keep it up. You can keep it in. Little more up also. The more you stretch, it is good. The more you stretch, sorry. Good time, sorry. The more little higher, it is good. But you will have the support also. This we cannot do while sitting down. So it is good to keep it like this. Then do the ankle, ankle movements. Then do the ankle movements. Yes. If you are able to do it straight, it is still more, still more better because you will be giving more, more effort for the, yes, yes. Then now stretch your legs and do the, do the ankle movements. Ankle forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Ankle rotation. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five. The other leg. Stretch. Ankle forward, back. Forward, back. Forward, back. Then do the ankle rotation. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. Now again, if suppose you are able to, you can do this. Stretching one leg. Okay, bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Bend, stretch. Bend, stretch. Bend, stretch. Stretch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Okay, this is for the mobility of the knees. Then we can also do this. You will have to stretch your hands forward and slightly bend and come back. Semi squats, it is called as semi squats. You can do this also for strengthening the knees. Just do semi squats, hands forward and do semi squats. Four, five times also is enough. Four, five times is also enough. Four, five times is also enough. Yeah. Yes. Then slowly come back to center again. Now we are going to do for our hip. So sit, sitting for, sitting here, little bit edge on the chair. Okay. So leg your raise up and come to the side. Raise up and come forward. Raise up, come to the side. Raise up, come forward. This is for our hip. Raise up, come to the side. Raise up, come forward. Raise up, come to the side. Raise up, come forward. The other leg. Raise up, go to the side. Raise up, come forward. Raise up, go to the side. Raise up, come forward. Raise up, come to the side. Raise up, come forward. Raise up, come to the side. Raise up and come forward and relax. 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 Now we have warmed up our, our body. Now we will start with our... We will, I, will, I will teach you a vari two variations of Surya Namaskar. You can try that. Whichever you are able to do, you can do it. Yeah? Yes? First I will show it in the chair. First variation I will show it in the chair. Yes? Yes. So first, I will show you the sides so that you can see the spine, how it stretches. You can just watch first time. So what I'm doing here is, first I'm raising my hand and arching my back. My back is arched. Back is arched. Then what I'm doing, I am moving my hand forward, stretching the spine nicely. I'm stretching the spine nicely. Without curving the spine, I'm going forward. Without curving, I'm going forward, straightening up my smart spine. And then I'm keeping my hand beside my leg. You can see my spine is not curved. Spine is straight. No curve. Straight. Straight. Go down. Then keep your hand down. And preferably, you can bring your head also down. Okay? 
Then slowly again, come up, stretch your spine, and release. This time, you're going to raise your left leg up and keep it on the chair. Keep it on the chair and curve. Okay? You're bringing your leg towards your, and if you want, you can keep your forehead on the knee. Then, I'm going to again stretch, keep my leg down, stretch my spine, stretch my spine. Then again, I'm going down with my spine erect. Spine should be straight. Then slowly I'm going, no curving of the spine. Once I'm going straight, then after that I'm bringing my hand by the side of the body. Then I'm bringing my head towards the knee, head towards the knee. Then again, raising up. Again, I'm raising up. This time, I'm bringing my right leg up. This time, I'm bringing my right leg up and curving, bringing my forehead to the knee. Bringing my forehead to the knee. Then slowly, again, I'm releasing my hand, stretching my spine up, arching my back. Again, with my straight spine, I'm going down, going down, going down, and keeping my hands down. Then slowly raise up again, arch your spine, and slowly release and come back to normal position. Okay? Yeah, here we are concentrating on two things. We are arching our spine and bringing it down. Those two things only we are concentrating on all these steps. Okay? Yeah? This is the first variation. This is the first variation. We will do together now two times. Yeah? Okay? Yes? Any doubts? No doubts? Okay. So let us start. Breathe in. Arch your spine. Look up. Arch your spine. Breathe out. Bend from your lower back. Come down and keep your hands by the side of your leg. Then once again, breathe in, arch your spine, look up. Then breathe out, bring your left leg above and bring your forehead to the knee. Forehead to the knee, preferably. Then breathe, keep release your leg. Breathe in, arch your spine again. Breathe out, bend from your lower back and bring your hand beside your leg. Once again, breathe in, arch your spine, look up. Breathe out, bring your right leg above and bring your forehead to the knee. Okay? Then again, Release your leg, breathe in, arch your spine, look up. Breathe out, bend from your lower back. Bring your hands by the side of the board. From here, breathe in, arch your spine and slowly come back to center. Okay, we will do it one more time. We will do it one more time. Keeping your hands. Straight, spine erect. Breathe in, raise your hands up, arch your spine. Breathe out, bend from your lower back and bring your hands. Then breathe in, raise your hands up, arch your back. For breathing out, lift your left leg and hold your legs, forehead to the knee. Forehead to the knee. Then breathe in. Release your leg. Arch your spine. Breathe out. Bend from your lower back. Hands by the side of the leg. Now breathe in. Arch your spine. Look up. Breathe out. Raise your right leg. Hug it and bring your forehead to the knee. Then again, release your leg, raise your hands up, breathe in, breathe out, bend from your lower back, hands by the side of the leg. 
Breathe in, raise your hands up and slowly release. Slowly release. Okay? Slowly release and come back to normal position. Yeah? This we can practice so many times also. So this is mainly for our forward and backward bends. Forward and backward bends. Okay? So for stretching our spine. In effect, we are stretching the spine and taking the knees above the leg will help in pressing the abdomen. It works on our abdominal muscles also. Okay? Yeah? Okay. Now, next onwards, we will try to do it on the mat. Let us try to do it on the mat. Is it okay? Okay to do it on the mat? Or completely we will? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So, let us get to the mat. Let us get on to the mat. Now, sitting, we need to sit straight. That is why I told if you want, you can sit, sit with two chairs also. We can sit with two chairs also. Because if you need, if you need support for your spine, we need to case it on the chair. If suppose you're, you don't need uh, support for the back, you can sit like this. Okay? Now, what we are doing is, we will be bending our legs. Bending our legs, soles are on the ground, bending our legs. What we do here is, it is something called as butterfly pose. You can just stretch it down and come up. Down, come up. So, down, come up. We are just stretching our legs down and coming up. Down, come up. Down, come up. Here also we do inhale up, exhale down. 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 Okay? Now we can hold here, hold here for some time. Let us hold for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4. Try to just keep slightly pushing your thighs downwards. Thighs, push your thighs, keep pushing your knees downwards slightly. Slightly, don't push it very hard. Just slightly. And stay, stay here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then slowly bring your legs together. Now what we will do? We will go on table. Um, Kalei, if you want, you can keep the pillow below your knees. Okay? We will be on table. Only one we will do with the knees. Okay? Knees on the ground. More than that. So here, this is called as table. What we do here is we keep our knees and our hip will be in one straight line and wrist and shoulder will be in one straight line. And in the front position, your gap, there should be shoulder with gap between the legs as well as the hands. So it forms a table. So this is called a table pose. So preferably your toes can be stretched down or toes can be tucked in, whichever is of your convenience. Either toes can be stretched like this or toes can be tucked in. Okay? Now, what we are going to do here is we are going to do something called as cat cow stretch. So, here we arch our spine and look up. Arching our spine, we look up. Here we do the breathing. Breathe out. We curve our, curve our spine, bring our chin to the collarbone and look towards our neighbor. This is called as cat cow stretch. Now, like a cat, we breathe out. Like a cow, we breathe in. Breathe in and breathe out. So breathe in one more time. Arching. Breathe out. Curve and come back. Then come back to center. One more time we will arch and stay there. Instead of doing dynamically, we will stay there. So arch your spine. Look up and stay here. 
for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then curve your spine, bring your chin to the collarbone, and stay here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then slowly come back to center. You can sit on the heels in Vajrasana. If not possible, you can sit in, sit in Sukhasana. Yeah, sit in Sukhasana. Yeah, so this is Vajrasana. We are sitting on the heels, but it, it effectively puts pressure on our lower part of the leg. So keep a pillow and do it. If you are, if you are uncomfortable, keep a pillow and do it. Otherwise, you can sit comfortably, relax, sit comfortably. No issues. Sit comfortably. Sit comfortably. Sit comfortably. Sit comfortably. So yesterday, whatever we were doing, some twisting asanas I was, I was showing you, na, that we will try to do in seated pose. Yesterday, whichever I was showing in the chair, the same asana we will do seated in the seated position. So again, here also, we stretch our legs. We will be stretch our legs. Okay? I bend my right leg. I bend my right leg. So my right leg is bent. So I take my right hand behind the back. Okay? Now what I do? I hug my knee and turn towards the right and look back. Turn towards the right and look back. This gives a pressure for the abdomen also when you are twisting and it gives good stretch for your spine also. It is also called a spinal twist pose. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come back to center. Release your leg. Now we'll do the same thing with the other side. Bend your left leg. Now left knee is above. So take the left hand behind the back. Hug your left knee with the right. And twist and look to the back. Left side back. You are twisting to the left side and looking back. And stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly come back to center and release your leg. Release your leg. Now we will do some lying down asanas. Sir, are you uh, sitting comfortably where you can lie down also? You will be able to lie down? Yes? Okay. Yeah. Adjust your camera so that I will be able to see you. That's it. So slowly get and lie down on the mat. Get and lie down on the mat like this. Yes. Now keep your hands by the side of the body. Palms will be facing downwards. Keep your hands by the side of the body. Palms will be facing downwards. So this palms facing downwards will give some support for doing these leg raises. We are going to do something called as leg raises. Okay? This will help us to strengthen all our leg muscles also. So now... I'm raising my one leg up. Raise your one leg up. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring your legs down. Ensure that you are not bending your knees when you are raising it up. Raise your leg up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Down. We'll do it three more times. While raising, see to that you are pointing your toes. Breathe in up and breathe out. Bring down. Breathe in, leg up, and breathe out, down. One more time. Breathe in, right leg up, and breathe out, bring it down. We'll do with the leg, left leg now. Breathe in up, breathe out, down. 
Breathe in up. Breathe out down. Breathe in up. Breathe out down. Breathe in up. Breathe out down. One more time. Breathe in up. Breathe out down. Now we need to lift both our legs together. So preferably, if you want more support, you can keep your hands below your hip, below your hips, below your below to for support. Or if you are able to do, you can just keep your hands, palms facing down. That also gives a grip. Now raise both the legs together up. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly bring it down. Slowly bring it down. When you are slowly bringing it down, it works on our core muscles also, abdominal muscles also. You need to tuck your tummy in and raise up, bring it down. So it works on our abdominal muscles. So breathe in, raise your both legs up. Breathe out, bring your legs down. We'll do it two more times. Breathe in up. Breathe out, down. Slowly bring your legs down. Breathe in up, breathe out, slowly bring your leg down. One more time, breathe in up and breathe out, slowly bring your leg down and relax. And relax, relax. Now bend your legs, bend your legs. Knees are pointed upwards. Knees are pointed upwards. Okay. Next we will do the bridge pose. Here what we do, your knees are little bit closer. Yeah, little bit closer to your hips. Then what we do here is we will raise our hip up and take the support of the hand and raise a little more. So raise the hip up a little and take the support of your hand and raise little more. Raise a little more and stay here. Stay here for a count of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then slowly bring your hip down. This is called as bridge pose. This gives a nice relaxation for your back. Whenever, if you are having any back pain, you can, you should do it in dynamic way. See, breathe in, hip up, breathe out, down. Breathe in, hip up, breathe out, down. Breathe in, hip up, breathe out, down. That way also we can do dynamically. Or just hold it. Hold it when you're raising, just hold it with the support of your hand. Keep your hands on the hip and stay here. Stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly bring your hip down. Now stretch your legs. Stretch your legs down. Now next we will do Pavana Muttasana or the Wind releasing pose. It is called as it is very good for digestion and it is also very good for relieving all the constipation issues. So bend first, bend your one leg. Bend your one leg and bring it close to your chest. Hold it with your hands. Hold it with your hands and stay here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now slowly release your leg. Then bend the other leg. Hold it close to your chest and stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then slowly release this leg. Now bend both the legs together. Hold it close to your chest and stay here. Hold it close to your chest and stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
Breathe out, relax. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Now take your attention to your right foot. Breathe in, breathe out, relax. To your right knee. Breathe in, breathe out, relax. Right hip joint. Breathe in, breathe out, relax. Abdomen center. Breathe in, abdomen now. Breathe out, relax. Left knee. Breathe in, breathe out, relax. Left foot, breathe in, breathe out, relax. Left knee, breathe in, breathe out, relax. Left hip joint, breathe in, abdomen up, breathe out, relax. Abdomen center, breathe in, abdomen up, breathe out, relax. Chest center, breathe in, abdomen up, breathe out, relax. Throat center, breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Right shoulder joint. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Right elbow. Breathe in, abdomen up. Breathe out, relax. Right wrist. Right palm, breathe in, abdomen up, breathe out, relax. Back to right elbow, breathe in, abdomen up, breathe out, relax. Side shoulder joint, breathe in up. Breathe out, relax. Back to throat center. Breathe in. Breathe out, relax. Left shoulder joint. Breathe in up. Breathe out, relax. Left elbow. Breathe in up, breathe out, relax. Left wrist, breathe in up, breathe out, relax. Left elbow, breathe in up, breathe out, relax. Left shoulder joint, breathe. In up, breathe out, relax. Throat center, breathe in, breathe out, relax. Go up to the forehead, eyebrow center, breathe in, abdomen up, breathe out, relax. Relax your whole body. Relax your whole body. Stay there in stillness for a few more seconds.
Now slowly start making movements in your legs and hands. Start wiggling your toes, wiggle your fingers. Start making movements. Stretch your toes downwards. Stretch your hands above your head. And slowly turn towards your right side. Slowly turn towards your right side. And when you're comfortable with the support of the left hand, slowly sit up. Slowly sit up with your eyes closed. Slowly sit up with your eyes closed. Now in this calm state of mind, let us pray and bless this whole world. Bringing your palms together. Bringing your palms together. Rub your palms. Rub your palms. Generate heat. And slowly cup it on your eyes and feel, feel the energy. Feel the warmth. And slowly looking through the gaps of the fingers, open your eyes with a beautiful smile. <laughs>